going to tell you a little story about a family named Sanger Yay. They are featured in a smoking hot comic that's out right now called Bitterroot. More on that in a second. This is Be Real with D-Real. What up, what up? It's your man D-Real and edutainment is what I do and I'm here bringing you another Be Real with D-Real. Welcome to the party. All right, now, I am going to tell you about a hot comic right now. It's not necessarily new, but it came, it came out um, in, um, in November of 2018. It's called Bitterroot. Bitterroot is the story of the Sanger Ye family. They are an African-American family living in Harlem in 1924, which of course is during the Harlem Renaissance. And they, or a family of demon hunters. And let them tell the story. They call them Janu. Uh, Janu is an African word, which means devil. So right in line with what's going on. Their family, which is apparently dwindling, have been hunting demons for some time. Demons, in uh, this Bitterroot comic that came out in November of 2018. Uh, they are created and propagated by the concept of hate. Interesting. So in other words, the greater hate you carry in your heart, the easier it is for you to become possessed by Janu. Now, this family uh, consists of the matriarch, who's called Ma Etta, and she basically dispenses knowledge, puts the rest of the family up on what they need to do to overcome the latest threat. Then there is her granddaughter, the lovely Blink, who can be described as underestimated and eager, and then her cousin, Cullen, who is the newest to get out in the field and do some demon hunting, could be uh, described as eager and underestimated. And then there is Cousin Burge, who is best described as a hulking sesquipedalian. A sesquipedalian is a person who uses a large word when a small one will do. I guess I'm kind of a sesquipedalian too. The Sanger Yays were uh, created and are written by African-American writers, David Walker and Chuck Brown and drawn by African-American artist, Sanford Green. The latest news about the Sanger Yays is that just like a, another popular image comic, The Walking Dead or Invincible, they will be the latest to get a cinematic version of themselves coming soon. Actually, it was announced back in 2019 that Ryan Coogler and Legendary Studios were attached to the project. And then just recently last week, it was announced that actress Regina King has a uh, signed on to help produce and direct this movie. So sounds like Miss Regina is getting her nerd on. She just did a successful Watchmen project with HBO and now she's on this. So I'll dug Watchmen. If 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 she rocks uh Bitterroot the same way that 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 she rocked the HBO uh, version of Watchmen I strongly suggest that y'all go out and peep that out. Uh, a lot of Black artists out here are doing their thing, but uh, the trio of Walker, Brown, and Green seem to be doing it just as well, if not better, than most. Uh, also in the story, there are peripheral characters. I wouldn't necessarily call them peripheral, but they are integral to the story eventually, and they are Cousin Enoch, 
in Cousin Ford. Cousin Ford and Enoch are more seasoned uh, demon hunters than their younger cousins. And Cousin Ford, unlike the rest of the family, which also makes this plan unique, they depend upon a root that they use to create a serum, which they shoot the infected demon folk with and turn them back to normal. So they are demon hunters, but they aren't necessarily demon slayers. And that's what I think is a very interesting and refreshing twist about the story of the Sangaye family. Whereas Ford, who's pictured in the background here, even though he has guns that have the serum in them, he is not above offing some people when he thinks they are beyond redemption. There are also demons in this story who, who were originally Black people. And these people have been consumed by their hate uh, because of the trauma that they've experienced and because of the feelings of hopelessness that, that bring about anger and thus cause these people to become victims of the Janu. So if you have not read Bitterroot, what you waiting for? Get up. Get off of your duff. Um, it is, I believe, a 12-issue series. And then it also has uh, a, a, a graphic novel, which is called um, uh, the... No, it's not called Cram. Sorry. Um, <laughs> it's called The Red Summer. Um, and, and that is something that you should pick up because it, it, it gives you a, a much more well-rounded picture of the sanger Ye family themselves, uh, the struggle with um, not having women in the field as demon hunters initially. And, and this is why uh, Cousin Blink was so eager, e eager. <laughs> Why Cousin Blink was so eager to get into the demon hunting part of uh, what her family is taking part in. Whereas she was only, you know, mashing up and, and preparing the roots to make the serum that goes into the weapons that cures people. Eventually, Blink shows herself to be a very adept demon hunter, as well as uh, collaborating. There, there is one issue where she goes out demon hunting and the family doesn't know that she's out demon hunting. And she's out demon hunting with, a, with one of her Asian homegirls and they're jumping off of buildings like Batman and, 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 and going after demons and doing their thing. So I like the development of Bleak, which, which should continue to happen. I mean, if, 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 if you ask me, I think Blink should be in charge. Hmm. She's got to get a little more experience under her belt, true, but I, I, I think she would be a very, a very well-rounded and level-headed leader since she approaches everything from a from a can-do aspect. I can do this. I know my capabilities. So y'all should go on ahead and let me be Chief Demon Hunter. That's why I, I, I'm all for it. I think Blink should, be, or, or at least be number two. Um, Cullen, without giving away too much of, of, of what Bitterroot is, let us just say that Cullen undertakes the hero's journey. And I mean full volume from 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 wide-eyed rookie to the end result of the process uh, have you gotten excited i know i was excited initially when i heard about the project a while back i just i love seeing anything where 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 black artists are getting it in and getting theirs and by the way if you guys are watching uh uh local artists uh, uh, recently published artists, uh, I, and I'm going to go on ahead and use the word starving, but I know as an artist myself that starving is just a term that, that means up and coming. So starving artists, if, if you guys have projects, if you have things that you are doing, shoot me a, shoot me a, a, a communique at the Be Real with D Real page, and we will see about getting your own. I would 
even be amenable to doing a live. So local artists, up and coming artists, new artists, if you're anything like the trio of uh, Walker Brown and Green and you're making bomb material like this, I would love to know what it is. I would love to hear from you. And everybody else, my, my, my regular subscribers, my new subscribers, if you're new to the Be Real with D Real page, please comment, like, and subscribe often. I have videos coming out three days a week, sometimes four days a week if I'm feeling froggy about it. But um, tune in and check it out. And I'm pretty sure that something will come across this page that tickles your fancy and excites your curiosity. So please, please, pretty please, by all means, like, comment, and subscribe to the Be Real with The Real page. So that is the Bitterroot video. If you are, if you haven't been incited to begin uh, paying attention to this uh, amazing project, I love it personally. Um, what wrong with you? You need to get up and get on it, folks. This is good stuff. It's real good stuff, honestly. I'm not going to toot my horn anymore. I'm going to salute and say this has been Be Real with Be Real. I'll be back with another one when y'all least expect it. And until then, y'all be good. Be good to each other.